And New Haven's latest strategy to clear the roads of all the ice and snow includes something that could cost you some big dollars if you keep your car on the side of the road. And the city is also talking about how it will deal with tomorrow's potential ice storm. News 8's Ted Coppy live in downtown New Haven tonight with that, Ted. And Sonia and Keith, a lot to talk about. I want to get you up to speed with what's happening right now. If you've been out driving around late this afternoon, you may have noticed plows driving around with their plows up. Well, there's a good reason for that. The reason is they're putting down salt and sand, but they're leaving a layer of slush on the roads. Let me step over and show you what I'm talking about. If you look out here, you can see that the pave is not entirely clear. There's a combination of slush mixed in with that slush is salt and sand. Now, the city of New Haven says if there's going to be icing tonight into tomorrow morning, if there's going to be freezing rain, drive will actually have better traction on that than they would bare pavement, bare frozen pavement, I should say. That's what's going on right now. Earlier this afternoon, crews were out clearing the roads in a couple of ways. It's a twofold response to clearing the roads in this latest winter storm here in New Haven. As you'd expect, they're clearing the roads of snow and ice. And the city's also gotten aggressive in clearing the roads of parked cars. At this point, after so many storms, it seems almost everyone is losing their patience with parking ban violators. Do you feel bad for these people getting their cars towed? No. You know, because they come through, they warn you. If, you know, you can't, you know there's a parking ban, you can't leave your car out here. They're going to tow it. New Haven's Emergency Operations Center is running 24 7, where department leaders are monitoring road conditions, dispatching payloaders and plows, and an entire fleet of tow trucks. What we've been doing most of the day up until this point is pulling out embedded cars. These are the cars that have been on the street since the last snowstorm and have not been uncovered, so we've been taking those off the street. And it comes at a steep price. The ticket alone for violating the snow emergency parking ban is $100, with an additional $88 for towing and 20 bucks a day for storage after the first day. For most, it will cost more than $200 to get their car back. The good news for them, once they get back to their street, they should have a clean place to park. And you know, there's really an easy way to avoid all that towing. You can do it a number of ways. You can go to the City of New Haven's website, sign up for traffic alerts there, or you can call City Hall, sign up there. They send a reverse 911 to let you know when parking bans are in effect, and even they'll call you if they're towing on your street. So that's sort of an advance warning. Or, of course, you can watch News 8. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we're going to show you one lo what one local business owner is doing about these messy streets out here. Reporting live in downtown New Haven, Ted Coppy, News 8.